visitors. Uh, it's been a while since the elders have given you a little update, and we wanted to take just a few minutes to share a couple of thoughts with you. Uh, the directory is being upgraded, and we are so excited as we'll be using this to communicate critical information to everybody. You may have already gotten a call, and if you haven't, please get in touch with us so that we can have your current information. It'll make it so easy to get information to you if we have that. To our youth, we're so excited about what's happening with you. We know you're going through a lot with the academics of studying from home. We've got some exciting things that we are thinking about to continue to encourage you in your walk with Christ. Many of us remember what it's like to be young and we want to continue to serve you and do some things to help you as a young person in Christ. The coronavirus, the elders are diligently looking at this situation and we're working with our health ministry and our deacons. Our current plan, of course, many of you know, was to not meet in February and again, not meet in March and at the earliest, come back together on April the 1st. But it may not be April the 1st. It may be later than that. Many people are still working to get their vaccine. The new variants are in Illinois, and we're watching these items to try to determine what is the best way, the best time to go back to public worship. We know many of you miss worshiping together. We're keeping that in mind. And we will continue to evaluate the situation periodically. And as we do that, we want to keep you updated. After we get through March, we'll meet again and decide if April the 1st is the good date. But church, it may be May, it may be June, it may be later based on what's in the best interest of the health of our church. So stay tuned and we'll update you. If you have any suggestions, if you have any questions, if you have any ideas on how we can open up safely, don't hesitate to call one of the elders and let us know. We also want to keep in mind the nine o'clock study for reconciliation. What a interesting world we live in. We'll Trump and Biden make up? I don't know. But husbands and wives sometimes need to reconcile. Parents and children, bosses and workers, those who are gay, those who are straight are in conflict. Christians versus non-Christians, white, black. There's so much in need of reconciliation today. Some of you have heard about the unfortunate incident with two black families where a man killed his wife. Then he went and murdered the two young children in the home just this past week. Last month, the same thing happened again, where a man, because he couldn't reconcile with his family, not only murdered his wife, but he murdered the two small children in the family. And, and listen, there's so many things that we need to reconcile on. This nine o'clock study as we continue to talk about forgiveness, which Brother Smith did such a great job recently, we're going to give you some practical steps on what do you do with that pain? What do you do when you see that person? Do you just forget about what happened? The Bible has so much to say about practical steps in reconciling fractured family and friends relationship. Join us for this nine o'clock study and invite your family to come with us. And men, of course, you'll hear more about this, the wonderful men study. Join us on that as we talk about how men can become leaders. Leadership will give our church the ability not only to impact violence and crime, but poverty, education, and most importantly, getting people to heaven. So men, join us in this Saturday and Sunday study on preparing for leadership. Thank you so much for listening. Call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. Just
call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. Call Jesus. Call him up. Tell him what you want. Call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. Just call him up. Call him up. seniors. Do you need help with the COVID vaccine online registration? Do you need a ride to your vaccine appointment? The Centerville Health Ministry team is here to help. Please call the church at 618-337-9020 and leave your name and number with Tommy or leave a message. A member of the health ministry team will call and help you with the online registration or will arrange a ride for you. Also, Vaccine registration is now being accepted for those age 16 and up with medical issues. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to a member of our health ministry team. And as always, God bless. Got the news you can use. The news on the beach.